Alright, so I'll show you how I usually do this. It's, it's going to be a little bit different with scholars, but... Yeah, fuck you. Alright. What should my name be, Brassif? Make a black guy. Nah, you know what? Make me. <laughs> so cute. Maybe I should make you and do a no problem. <laughs> All right, let's make Joel. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> we gotta make you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bandit, bro. Come on. Now, uh, this is useless because I'm only gonna ever have soul arrows for the whole playthrough. Cleric starts with a mace, but I could buy one. Bandit is actually quite viable. I think, uh... I think, he, well, the adaptability ain't so great. Bandit who looks like, uh, a chode from Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> What do you think? What class would you be? I want to do warrior, knight, or bandit. I would probably be a bandit if I was in this game. Uh, gift is going to be a petrified something. I don't have a receding hairline. That's because you always shave it, but yeah, you do. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna make me. <laughs> what color are your eyes, Brassif? Brown? Yeah. Dark brown, buddy. Like this? Yeah. Dark brown. I look so ugly. <laughs> this way, you are young. To the right, Yep, put it all the way. I actually look better <laughs> like that than on the masculine side. <laughs> Oh my god. Being this or this? That looks good, yeah. I'll let you know how it is. How am I, how are you coming up, by the way? What do you think? I think you look a little bit mulatto. I think I look pretty good. <laughs> you can't say that word out here, Brasso. What, mulatto? You get shot. You get shot. I'm not saying it in a derogatory sense. You did. Oh, man. I miss you. <laughs> Of. Mouth expression cheery, because it's Joel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you more. Not blackish. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. I'm just like. Oh, what do you What do you think so far? Is this good? I look like a fucking monkey, and I love it. 
I'm trying my best. It's actually kind of hard. I actually think it looks good. Yeah? You, are you offended by the hair? I mean, I'm... You gotta make me look like I'm overweight, though, because I'm not that cut. Alright. Like, you gotta give me, like, like... The, like the fatty kind of stomach. Okay, alright, uh... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, yeah, bro, so I don't have a six-pack, so let's, let's fix that. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, give me that one. This is like brolic, though. <laughs> You're not that brolic. I'm not that fat, but you gotta make me look like I'm not, like, cut. I have a little bit of a stomach process, so... How about this one? Alright, yeah, let's do that one. It's like fat legs or lower body. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Oh, All right. People coming in for the same reason. All right, let's get rid of Joel's helmet. All right, dude. No bonfire run. Let's do this shit. Dude, I think like I think you look pretty good. <laughs> I look. Yo, does does Ash does Ash approve? Uh, she's hanging out with her grandma in the kitchen right now. All right, so don't touch that one. You leave that shit alone. Why? Because okay. you gotta remember, every time you light one, it becomes a checkpoint, and it becomes the last checkpoint. So we wanna say fuck that thing. Um, I gotta take my chances with the birds, so let's do this. Yeah, but what if you die right here? Then you have to go all the way back. To what? Things betwixt? That's not that bad. You're not cool, bro, so... No, oh, Joelleton is cool. <laughs> my fat ass, look at me. Look at my big ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you get this character enough, maybe you can play with Diana. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to think of new ringtones to get. I got a dagger. Dick. I love that hand deck. I do too. I had a very deep affinity with it doing my level 1 runs on Dark Souls 1. Because it was like the starting weapon for the Pyromancer. Yeah. That is such a good weapon. Alright, let's see what Papa gets. Hopefully I get the Giant's Great Hammer or a Slab. Oh wow. I got fucked! You can't use the, the, the hammer though. I will be able to eventually. Yeah, but you can't rest at a bonfire. Why would that have. Oh, but you could. Okay, I'm stupid. Sorry, I'm thinking of Dark Souls 1 rules. I haven't played this in a while. I'm sorry. That's okay, Brasif. Alright, that's okay. I gotta get a mace or a club. Alright, so I'm in Majula. A couple things I gotta take care of. First things first, Titanite. You 
Got some Titanite. Nice, nice. Joe Arlington is heading downstairs. <laughs> Joe Arlington. Oh, shit. Very, very important coming up here. Yeah, We're gonna want to get uh, those. I'm gonna be using a lot of Homer bones. Okay. Really? Uh, yes, sir. Do you summon people? Um, technically I'm online, so I could. Do you usually summon people when you do no bonfire runs? Um, I guess like doesn't hurt if I do. It won't count. It won't count against me. Some people like to do it offline, so they're pro. You know, I I ain't pro. Like like pro bitch or pro fag. I mean, I've done it offline just to say I could do it, but it wasn't f that fun. <laughs> it's actually harder online because you get invaded and shit. Yeah, All right. this is a good point. I right, give me my my OJ, lady. All right, so I gotta get the other shard, and I gotta go kill uh, uh what you gonna call it? Um, the dude bro guy. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Dragon Rider. Yeah. You fight him first. Yep, I just don't know how well I'm gonna do with this damn morning star. Alright. I got two S's and a bunch of uh, life gems. Alright. Now, since I am at this fire. I'm gonna light this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna not light one for a really long time. So here we go. Really? Alright, so that's gonna be my only bonfire until I kill until I open up a shrine of winter. Why wouldn't you just light the one and hide the tower when you're going in there? Well why because then if I die, I always have to go back to that one. Okay, I get it. You can't relight. Okay, I get it. I can't never relight that one, you know? Shit. So you hit Majula and then that's it. Okay, alright, I'm starting to get it. It's kind of like Dark Souls 1 where you, where you ran around more, you know? I guess it wouldn't hurt if I had a shield. Oh, Bronx, by the way, at 10 o'clock, Ash has a show to watch. So, we got like an hour. Okay, bruh. I came out pretty good, I gotta say. <laughs> I don't remember if it's just a thief's knife. Oh, it's a soul of a, an undead. Alright. Is Alex still playing this? Of course. Fucking pro. You're gonna fight him on that little less platform too. I wish you were able to perform critical hits on bosses like in Dark Souls 1. Oh, like cutting off a tail or something? That and like, it, like if you pull off a parry, like, you know, you should be able to perform a crit. You know, like a win and shit. You know, like in this game, you could, yeah, you could parry Dragon Rider all day, but you can't... You can't do like a special move afterward. Bullshit. 
Come on. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> that was, that was bullshit. All right. You, uh, maybe he is hitting me. I don't know. I don't know. I felt like he wasn't. Okay, whatever. Dark Souls. I, I, I'm on your side. There were there were two instances there where you rolled. You know what? I guess it's the adaptability on the bandit that's fucking with you. <sighs> it's gotta be. Yeah. What's your adaptability at with him? Probably shitty. Yeah. Adaptability three. Yeah, that's that's what it was. It wasn't you. It was that fucking stat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god, he has Princess Diana. I tried to fucking do some stupid shit on him and he sucked the up. <laughs> What'd you say? That, that giant by the boss gate was the hardest one for me for some reason today. All right, I'm definitely getting affected by the adaptability. Come on. Sam? Mud! Front yeah, no. You can't push him off the ledge, can you? Absolutely. So you go to Huntsman's after this? I could if I want to. No now that I've talked to her. That's kind of why I like doing this first. Alright, so... This? What's this? The point of going there was to get the soul so I could level up right away. Alright, well what's the, the next smartest route to go? Well, this is Skylar's. So... Let me think. All right, first things first, get the fuck away from that bonfire. All right. All right, let's level up. That adaptability killed you, man. Uh, somewhat better. All right, so I got a couple of options. I can go to Huntsman's. Or uh, I could go... Let's see. I kind of want to get Leningrass open, so I guess I can make a quick run through... Uh, this area. They got a knife as well. It's my knife. All right. So let me get a couple of shards over here. Maybe kill a pursuer really quick and uh, 
get some additional uh, souls level up. I basically want to hit level 30 before I think about branching out. Okay. And Jolinton is dead. What the hell was that? My phone went off. Sorry. It sounded like a f like you farted. Oh, it's a lightsaber. Okay. The, the lightsaber, bruh. <laughs> a human effigy. I gotta go up here now. Man, I gotta get you human, bro. This is not good. I want the freaking foot soldier sword, but they're not giving it up. You really like that sword. Well, it's probably not that great for this guy. No! Um. Dick cheese. All right, let's go through the fog gate, brah. Into the fogs. Nice. Ah, I made it for the life gem I spent. If I remember correctly, there's a guy in here who possums and scholars. No. Aha, I was right. Fucker. Mm. You fucked up. Ah. All right. I'm sorry to looking at your ugly face. <laughs> hey, did you see that new Batman vs Superman trailer? Uh, I did. <laughs> okay. I. Why uh... do I feel the same way you do? Like I want to feel hyped, but I don't. Um. I know for me, it's just because I got my good Batman movie ready, so it's like, maybe I feel spoiled? I don't know. Like, I was more excited about Ant-Man than I was when I saw that. Honestly, I've, I've, I've mainly just been interested in, in uh, Suicide Squad. That's the DC movie we need right now, not this other shit. Really? That's how I feel. So why? Okay, so what is it with? Wow, there's a, there's a dragon bro in here. I can't believe it. What's the deal with Joker and Suicide Squad? Why is he? You know, like, like, what's his deal? What do you? In what way? Do you mean? Uh, well, all right. You know what? What is the Suicide Squad? Let's start there. Okay, so there's a Amanda Waller runs like a prison for like all the inmates in Gotham, and. uh She's basically has the idea to put them to use because she's like Batman in a lot of ways where she wants to clean up Gotham, but she's more she's more like an institutionalist because she has like an actual job at the city. So she gets it in her head that um, she's going to um, form a team of criminals and force them to uh, to uh, do good deeds. You know what I mean? And by doing that in the comic, it means putting a uh, bomb in their heads. Mm. So she gets all these criminals together and makes them basically do missions. Covert ops missions. To clean up the streets. Or else. Really? Or else they die. And it works? Yes and no. I mean... 
the comic is kind of like all over the place in some issues because it's like they're all crazy so you know it's so the joker's not really scared of death technically so speaking know. joker isn't really in suicide squad so i don't know if they're gonna have his he's probably in the movie for harley oh i got this dude <laughs> 